Hi everybody, how you doing? Welcome back, it's you, it's me, I'm Grant, and you're my team. We are picking up right where we left off with our Golden Deer playthrough, which, I mean, we've barely started it, to be honest. All we've done is prologue, a bit of chapter one, and we've picked his house. So today we are going to finish this off. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. You should be excited. If you're excited, you best press like and subscribe because I kind of want to grow. Because this channel ain't nothing without you guys coming up through and supporting. So, you know, you do me a favor. You know, just press like, press subscribe. It's great. I'm a shill. I don't care. Let's do this. Okay. Hi, how have you been? It's been a bit of a crazy week, really. Um, I got Final Fantasy VII Remake early, but I'm not going to talk about that because that's not what we're here for. We are here to play Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I'm also going to sit down and record Tokyo Mirage Session Shop FP for that episode that's going up in two days' time, but hey, explore! So, this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. Speak with your house leader. Clahoot it. Oh. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. If I want to fuck the legal ones, I will fuck okay. the legal ones. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Yeah, have fun with that, but I'm going to talk to my house leaders and these retainers. Yes. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking, of course. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you Voldemort simp. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Don't kick your ass, Enjoy bitch. the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. Fuck off. <laughs> we gotta shit talk okay. you. Oh, it's my good yes. boys. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. You are so polite! I have a request. There is a dish I would like to make, but I need more of a certain vegetable to do so. I was planning to grow it from seeds in the greenhouse if you'd like to help. Yay! We got to do seed. Yes! I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. You do you, sweetie pie. You're doing great. Anyways, my babies! So, about the mock battle that's coming up, you don't mind me sitting it out, You're do in. you? As a fragile maiden, I'm useless in battle. I'll just cheer everyone on instead. Fragile Maiden, you are not. You are Hilda Valentine Gonorrhea, destroyer of worlds and claimer of souls. You're getting your ass the fuck in there, honey. Okay. Oh my good boy! Did you hear the news, Teach? Looks like we're gonna have a good old mock battle between the houses. The Golden Deer House isn't exactly what you'd call an elite group just yet, so you may want to whip everyone into shape with some extra training. After all, competition is only fun if you win. <laughs> To that end, I better prepare as well. You know, I was researching what it's like to live here long before I even enrolled. Want me to fill you in, Teach? What the fuck just happened to that bitch? <laughs> Honestly, we don't need any of this, so I'm fine. Thank you, Claude. For world building and lore purposes, it would be great, but basically you guys are gonna understand as we go along. I, I just, I get to teach my students on a Monday. We get to roam around on a Tuesday, uh, not a Tuesday, a Sunday. And they're the only days we do stuff. Cancer bitch! I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. Fucking fight me, you mop bitch. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Die. Um. 
was just heading back to my room. Bye. Well, thank God she's gone. Ooh, my good boy. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea's quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Your true canon is Felix. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> and for that reason, you are not coming on my team. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. I, have, uh, blah, 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 I can't even read. If I have to eat in that filthy dining hall, I prefer to invite a cute girl to dine beforehand. I'll find out what her favorite foods are so I can order them. She's happy. I'm happy. I haven't missed a move. Pretty great, huh? Shut up, Sylvain! No! You're gonna make me simp for you all over again. Hello, you have something to say? No. Goodbye, bitch. Right, oh. Linny Bobinis go, Mini go, Ninny go, Liddy. I love him. He's cool. But he's not coming on our team. If you guys remember last episode, I said that we're only getting Mercedes and Ferdinand from the other houses. <sighs> the Great Tree Moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. <sighs> well, if I want to build up support... Yeah. <sighs> and I'm feeling sleepy too, shit. Ashway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. I'm Ash, I'm a nerd. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. You seem well informed on the subject. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Yes, I would like to do some gardening. Basically, all we have to do is just plant the stuff and then we can cultivate it. And then once a week's passed, we can harvest the shit. So I'm going to like not spend Perfect. anything and we're just going to cultivate the shit. And it's going to be nice. Yellow flower seeds. We have a lot that we need to get done. So, fish keeper, we don't need to talk to you. You're not relevant. Felix! I love Felix so much. Raphael, hi, buddy. Petra! I see you, bitch. I see you there, miss bitch. I love Petra, she's awesome. Yes. Right, my good boy. I'm busy. Do you want something? I want to kick your ass. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating <laughs> Big words. Right, today's special. We are going to invite... Lysithia and Hilda, because they are awesome! I love them both so much. Yummy! Who made this? I'll have to give my compliments to the chef. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Right, motivations are max. This is good. We get a professor level up to E+. Plus. This is good. Right, when you're done, you can just press nice. L. I knew I could count on you. And we did Sylvain's mission. Raphael. Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Good talk. Right. Petra. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I love her. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. I love her so much. She deserves absolute protection and security. Wait a sec. <gasps> Fish Belaine! Hello there, Professor. Hi, girl! Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Where can I visit you then? My brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. I am a girl! The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. Oh, so that's some like yeah. family I For now. <laughs> Request. Might you help me with a favor? Can you do me a favor? There is a ceremony related to Saint Sethleen that requires rare fish. Would you mind helping me obtain some, Professor? You can speak. You can catch fish by speaking with the fish keeper in the fish pond. Bitch, come on. Now the fish keeper's relevant. Fishing. All we have to do is get the circle that's shrinking inside the purple one. That's it. And just press A. This'll do. 
Match that timing. Nailed it. Carasius. Right, now we have to take this boot back to Flayne. Right, right. Shut up! You have helped me so much! How wonderful! I am certain St. Cephalene would be most satisfied by that fish. <laughs> Funny you say that! Okay. Move out of the way. Right, uh, checking on the map. Who have we not spoken with yet? You. Unbelievable. The Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. Well, then can you sound enthusy fucking astic about it? If you're a teacher here, I am. you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids... Then what? War? Hmm, because it's a Fire Emblem game. Well, suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing. About that, we don't care. Do you look at me? Do you see the emotion on my face? I'm Byla fucking Eisner. Hey, it's my birthday twin. See, I'm a little busy. Oh, sorry. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. So Cyril actually has my birthday, period. Um... <laughs> Great. Wow. Wait a second, what is that? Have I missed someone? I've missed someone. I fucking missed someone. How did I miss someone? Who the Maria? Goddess, goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. Cinnamon roll, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. She's amazing. I love her. Stan Marianne. I'm a Mary Stan for Marianne. I absolutely love her. Right. Let's see. Uh run and 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 Golden deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. And you still fucking told me! All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Not really. Have you memorized everyone's names yet? Yep. I'm Ignatz, in case you forgot. No, I didn't. I'm looking forward to learning from you. You're a cinnamon roll, but also incredibly forgettable. But I still love you, but I'm really sorry about that, Iggy. <gasps> ah! Yes, it's true that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle house. See, the thing is, is that's both correct but not because Petra's class is commoner. Which is really weird considering that Petra is a princess. I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. Ugh. Right. Ah, Ingrid, racist! The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first King of Fargus. Lug, the King of Lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Wait, 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 wait. Burn, my girl. Before I came to the officer's academy, I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her. I attended a school of magic in the kingdom capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. Yeah. Annette was always just so nice to Aww. me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. I feel like if I bring Mercy, I've got to take Annie as well then. Ah. But, like, the... Like her, like just them two, the idea of them two fighting each other would be hilarious to me for some reason. <gasps> My good boy! Do you know the provenance of our class name? Yes. You wear black armor. The eagle. That refers to the twin headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagle. See? I'm fucking right. But that's because it's like playthrough number six or seven. I don't fucking know. Shut up. Right, uh... Oh, it's you! What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. I wanted to see you. 
listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. Well... I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. You know what? Not a fucking chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. Fuck off. Right, how do you guys feel about me running around and talking to everybody as we go along, like chapter to chapter? Or would you just rather me boost the motivation to my students and simply progress straight through the story? Hi. I'm going to leave that as a poll on Twitter. Like, once this... All right. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. The best fucking boy! I love Gatekeeper, he's the best! Arrgh. Anyways, um, I'm gonna leave that as a poll once this episode's gone up on Twitter. So if you're not following, then go follow it. Link is in the description. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. Cinnamon roll. I haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? You mean that absolute wank stain at the unfortunate opportunity to become somebody's unwanted pregnancy called your father? Yeah, I've seen him. Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? I think it's best for you that I don't. Because I don't think he wants to talk to you. Honestly, I don't say that to be nasty or rude or anything, but my god, girl, you can do so much better. Wait, hold on, someone down here. You! Indeed. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodland. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Okay, good shit, good shit. Right. Talk to me, priest. Okay. I hear a member of House Fressfeld, the ruling family of the Empire has entered the Officers' Academy for the first time in ages. And we all know shit's gonna hit the fan. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. In recent... Let us oh, hope this will be an opportunity for both... In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. First of all... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you funny with your foreshadowing. Okay, right. Here's an idea. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. Right. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. I think it's sort of like as a super dominant or super recessive gene. Basically, if you've got it, cool. But don't wave it around in someone's face. Lysithia! Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. Okay, right. I should turn around and say you want to get some rest, but... In a manner, yeah. yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Right, let's have a quick look on second floor. We are going to get around to some fights today, don't worry. Wow, we've been going through like 20 minutes. Woohoo, okay. Hi, what's up here, who's up here, and where? Ooh, Lady Rhea. What the fuck Oops. happened to her cape then? Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. You make me sound like a damn shepherd. Awakening. <laughs> oh god, is there anything or anyone in here? No. In that case then, uh, 
Run, 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 and in this one. Is this Gerald? Hi, Daddy! The church has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanuman, Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. Have you met Leone yet? Apparently, it was my influence that inspired her to leave her Yes, village. I have met your pathetic Stan. I plan to kill her off at the earliest opportunity. Sorry to burden you, but could you watch over her for me? She's the only apprentice I've ever had. Are you fucking kidding me? Fine. I think... Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Fuck that. Anyway, so, my girl. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are I'm they? I'ma kick your ass, I'ma kick your student's ass, I'ma kick the old man's ass, and I'ma kick his student's ass too. Well, no need to worry. If you get hurt, I am more than capable of healing you. You'll not even have a scar. Cool. I like her. She's so cool. Hey, old man. Apparently, there is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. Frustrating, yet also quite intriguing. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. No, perhaps some blood. A couple what? of drops on no. the device are all no. right. Ew. Ew. Why would you say it? Why would you? Why? Why? Why would, why? Why would, why? Why would you want that? God, you're weird. Anyway, so hi. Here's the library. And, hey, oh, no. That's it's this so. bitch. Professor, I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the church. I encourage you to make good use of them. Check the bookshelves and read all sorts of reference materials. Who's up for a quick world building session? Okay, right. Register of Kingdom Nobles. A register of prominent ho noble houses of the Holy Kingdom of Fargas. This document is expressly for official use by the Church of Sarah. Students have forbidden from removing or purchasing this documentation. 1179 edition. House Blaith. Thin. <laughs> this house claims Blathid of the Ten Elites as its ancestor. It has ruled the kingdom for over 400 years, ever since Lug, the King of Lions, claimed victory in the War of the Eagle and Lion in 751. This secured the kingdom's independence from the Adrestian Empire, after which Lug was crowned as its inaugural king by the Church of Seros. House Blathid resides in Ferdia, the kingdom capital, claiming all of the surrounding territory as its domain, and many of the fa <laughs> fiefdoms in the north of Fodlan as its vassals. With the passing of King Lambert in 1176, we would not like to talk about that, thank you. His older brother, Grand Duke Rufus of Itha, assumed the burden of ruling. The kingdom and the wait, blah, 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 kingdom in the young crown prince's stead. This is Dimitri. Even still, strife and disorder continues to plague the land. House Fraldaris. This is Felix's land. This house claims wait. This house of dukes claims Fraldaris of the Ten Elites as its ancestor. It is one of the most ancient houses on record, even among kingdom nobility. It is said that Kaifon, the sword friend of Lug, the king of lions, was also related to the hero Fraldarius. House Gautier, this is Sylvain's land. This house of Margraves claims Gautier of the Ten Elites as its ancestor. Its territory lies in the northmost reaches of the kingdom. As such, it has safeguarded kingdom territory against incursions by the people of the Srein region for over 200 years. House Charon, this is a character who we've yet to meet, but also at the same time, Lysithia, but we're gonna come back onto that in a bit. This house claims Karen of the Ten Elites as its ancestor. Tasked with negotiating between the resistance armies and the Church of Seros during the War of the Eagle and Lion. And the head of House Charon continues the tradition of ceremonial competition within the kingdom. 
House Galatea, this is Ingrid's land. When House Deathmill, once a cornerstone of the Leicester Alliance, was divided over to well, well, oh, wait, divided into over an inheritance feud, half of them defected to Vargas and established House Galatea, which was granted the noble title of Count. Much of its territory consists of a frigid wasteland where a severe famine occurred in the early 1170s. House Row. Row, 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 row. Ah, I know you! Hey, we're gonna come on to you after chapter five, okay. A noble house that once held territory within the Northern Empire. When the fortress city of Aryan Road was constructed within its domain, it revolted against the Empire and pledged the entirety of its territory, including Aryan Road, to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. For this contribution, it was awarded the noble title of Count. House Climate. This house originally held no more than a lordship over a single castle in the west of the kingdom, but it was awarded the noble title of Viscount for its great success in the subjugation of the Dusker region in 1176. Again, we don't talk about this. Afterward, it was granted the Dus it, it was granted the Dusker region as its feudal state. Right next, Register of Alliance Nobles, a register of prominent House Alliance nobles. Again, House Regan. The leading house of the Leicester Alliance and descendants one of, of one of the ten elites. Yay! Woo! Okay. In the Crescent Moon War of 881, they spearheaded the move toward independence from the kingdom, as well as the establishment of a republic by its former vassals. They have held the esteemed responsibility of leading the Alliance Roundtable ever since. The position of this house of dukes relies on the noble rank bestowed upon it by the kingdom well before the Alliance's founding. The current Duke Regan's heir, Godfrey, died in an accident while on duty. While he did leave behind a surviving daughter, she's presently unaccounted for. <coughs> Sorry, the summit stuck in my throat, okay, because we know who this is, okay? House Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea, but I mean, it's funnier. Anyways, descendants of the Ten Elites, it is a military house that is chiefly tasked with the military strikes and defense against the Almiran army mostly due to the territory's position in the east. Lord Holst, Hilda's older brother, the next head of the house, is widely renowned as the Alliance's bravest general, House Ordelia, Lysithia's family. A house of counts with land in the east of Leicester territory. In 1187, it was involved in House Prim's rebellion. This is Euritza. And the empire retaliated by repeatedly meddling in the house's internal affairs, leading to a sharp decline in its noble standing. House Gloucester. This is Lawrence. Descendants of one of the ten elites, this house of counts hails from the southern Leicester territory. The current head of house is ambitious, excels at public relations, and has an influential voice among the five noble families, with voting rights in the Leicester Alliance Roundtable second only to House Regan. House Edmund. This is, correct me if I am wrong, Marianne. Yes, I'm right. A house of Margraves, with land in the north of Leicester Territory. Its beneficial trade policies, emphasising fair use of its personal harbours, have awarded the house a great deal of clout, so much to a degree that it was eventually accepted into the ranks of the five great lords of the Alliance. Their current head of house is a renowned orator, House Daphnel. This is... Judith? Yeah, this is Judith, but also... She's not a student, don't worry. Um... Daphnel was tied to Galatea, don't forget that, so technically an offshoot of Ingrid's family. Descendants of one of the ten elites and formerly among the five great lords of the Alliance, it lost much of its power due to internal discord. For the last several generations, no head of House Daphnel has borne a crest. In spite of this, it still maintains its status as a noble family. How much more do we have to own? My god. No. Besides, do we even really care about the Empire? Could I trouble you? We might as well do it. Wait. Register of Empire Nobles. Alliance Nobles. Empire Nobles Part 2, then what's this? Empire Nobles Part 1. A register of prominent noble houses for the Adrestian Empire, House Resveld, the most distinguished noble house of the Empire, tracing its roots all the way back to the great Emperor Wilhelm, Edelgard's ancestor. It has been the governing house for the Empire for over 1,100 years. In addition to the first Emperor, its lineage is also traced back to Saint Seros herself, which is why generations of Emperors are believed to bear the crest of Seros. Edelgard has the crest of Seros, therefore Edelgard must be a descendant of Saint Seros. Under that logic. Oh, 
<laughs> Don't know how to feel about that. House Resveld resides in Embar, the Imperial capital, claiming all the surrounding territory as its domain. It boasted supreme authority within both the Empire and without the insurrection of the Seven in 1171. Wait, and without until the insur until the insurrection of seven, okay, in which much of its power was stripped away by the nobility. In recent years, a series of misfortunes has plagued this storied house, and some believe dark clouds hover over the future of the Hressveld reign. How sire Ferdinand, 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 Ferdinand. My good boy, his name is Ferdinand von Iyer. a house of dukes possessing great power within the empire, second only to House Hressveld. The head of the house came to occupy the post of Prime Minister, rendering the title a hereditary one. Thereafter, House Iyer led the insurrection of the Seven and, in many ways, holds the true power governing the Empire. Facts. Facts. Ferdinand stronger than Edelgard. Facts. Canon. Okay, House Vestra, this is Huber. A house of Marquis without a domain, existing in the shadow of House Hressfeld. In addition to managing the darker taste tasks, I thought, oh my god, tastes, what? Tasks of the Empire, it is responsible for the Emperor's periphery affairs, including coordinating things such as ceremonies, rituals, Imperial consorts, and the Imperial Guard. House Vestra was allied with House Iyer in the insurrection. House Hevering, this is Linhart. A house that counts... Wait, a house of counts that has inherited rule over the Empire's domestic affairs, particularly those relating to administration, finance, and the judiciary. That makes no fucking sense to me. Basically, they sit down at a desk and look after money. Right. It frequently clashes with the Minister of Military Affairs, this is Kaspar, over these matters. Much of its territory lies in the Ogma Mountains, and as such, it enjoys the fruits of a lucrative mining industry. House Burglies, I was just talking about Caspar. A house that a house of counts that's inherited rule over the Empire's Ministry of Military Affairs. It commands all of its armies that do not directly belong to the Emperor. During times of war, the head of the house becomes the Imperial Army's Commander in Chief. Their territory encompasses most of the Empire's main breadbasket, Grande Field. We are gonna go there! House Varley, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you because you stay reclusive. Register of Empire Nobles Part 2. House Gert. This is... Duke Gert. Duke Gert. Duke, there's a Gert. There is a Gert. And I think it's... Is that Constance and Yuri's parallel? We'll find out later. Anyways. A head of dukes that has inherited rule over the Empire's Ministry of the Exterior. Diplomacy, foreign relations, and relations between various provinces, and the capital fall under its purview. It worked hard to secure the ceasefires that ended both the Brigid and Dagda campaigns. Though complicit in the insurrection, it remains distant from associated houses. House Arendal. Lord Arendal. Why is that name familiar? Lord Arendal. Of the Adrestian Empire. Why is why? Why am I blanking on this? Don't we take down an Arendelle at some point? Do we I know, I've said last episode this is like spoiler stuff is fair game, so don't worry. Why is that familiar to me? I six plate what right. Oh <laughs> Edelgard's uncle. Okay, that's it. Formerly a minor house within, uh, minor noble house within the empire, as head of the house when Volcard's younger sister became betrothed to Emperor Ionius IX, Volcard was granted the title of Lord Arendelle. Having worked closely with House Iyer, House Arendelle is seen as one of the chief instigators of the insurrection of the Seven. Right, House Rim. Right, wait, let me let me just understand that a sec. Right, so Lord Arendelle conspired with Ferdidad to take down Edelgard's dad then. Right, okay, fine, whatever. House Frim, again, this is Yuritsa. House of Imperial Viscounts res resisting Emperor Ionius IX's policy of powerful centralization, it set out to join the Alliance and secure independence from the Empire. It was unable to overcome the Imperial Army's intervention. In the aftermath, the House's main genetic line was wiped out. Its current head of House is an adoptee. Woo! House Nouvelle. Constance! 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 
a house of imperial viscounts with territory on the western coast of the empire, centred around its namesake harbour city of Nouvelle. The house flourished thanks to commerce with Dagda, Albinea, Bridget, and other territories. Even still, it fell to ruin in 1175 after permitting the combined invading forces of Dagda and Bridget's armies to make landfall. House Ox, this is Monica. A house of imperial barons, its territory occupies the northern half of the western peninsula known as Fodland's Banks. The head of the house was lost to Dagda, wait, was lost to the Dagda and Bridget War. House Bartels. This is Mercedes's birth house. Wait a second. But Mercedes is a blue lion. A house of imperial barons. Highly wait. No. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mercedes is a blue lion. Her birth name is Martreats. Got it. Mercedes Martreats. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, yeah. Because she was adopted by Lord Bartels. That was it. Because Lord Bartels is the one that wants to... We'll find that out. Actually, no, that doesn't even show up in this room because we don't get to play with Yuritsa. So basically, Lord Bartels wants to rape Mercedes and have kids so that they can have crest babies, but that's his stepdaughter. That's weird. So, unstand. But Mercedes needs protecting. So... House of Imperial Barons, highly ambitious, it sought out and acquired several crests for its bloodline in 1176. Many members, including the head of the house, died under unexplained circumstances. They were stabbed in the fucking neck and poisoned and thrown into baths of acid, chopped up into pieces and dissolved entirely. How to get away with murder? Hashtag like that. The deed was attributed to their heir, Emil <coughs> Yuritsa. <coughs> As his whereabouts are unknown, he's at the fucking academy. Leadership fell... Uh, to a distant relative. Okay, right. So we've covered the main houses. Let me just see how long these are. Oh, Book of Seros Part 4. Wait, 5. Part 2. So. Part 1. Nah, basically long ago the Divine Seros had a revelation born from the Goddess. Uh, she was going to be a gift from Sothis to blah blah blah, protect the sheep and all that other shit. So, we're gonna actually do some proper stuff now. We're going to move on. It's battle day. Woo! It's oh, it's my good boy's birthday. You are so welcome. Much appreciated. I am so sorry that we have had 37 minutes of fucking world building and exploring. Fuck me. Right, mission. We're diving straight into this rivalry of the houses. Suggested level one. G. I think we'll be all right. Formerly a promising young mercenary, you are now the newest professor at the prestigious Officers Academy. Students and faculty alike look on with curiosity as you engage in a mock battle between the school's three houses. Wahoo! That was a lot of fucking time spent. So, story. Part 1. White clouds, three houses, rivalry of the houses. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm, how should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? Leave it to me. Right, I'll do whatever I can to help too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomachs... Don't even think about it. Yeah, yeah, wink wink, I read you. You can't officially condone that sort of thing, right? But say, hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. It's irrelevant anyhow. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still... I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. <laughs> it will be a fair fight if they insist. 
Are you serious, Teach? Well, if a crooked scheme is really what you're after, I've got more than a few of those up my sleeve. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude, Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. I'll go kick your ass. I will kick your ass. I will make sure that we wipe this bitch off the face of the fucking Fogland Earth. Okay, so units. So we can't bring everybody with us, unfortunately. All of our cool, super duper awesome students, except for Leone. We can only bring five. Now you see how we've got green backgrounds on Byleth and Claude? Well, that means they have to be here. Everyone else is completely optional. So, let me just make one thing perfectly clear. You're fucking off the team. You're on the fucking team. Now if we just press X, we can just have a fucking look at their stats. Magic, 11. Fucking average Joe over here. Fucking strength, 11. Fucking strength, 10. We need her. Right, healer, magic attacker, insanely powerful axe user, our two strongest. We have no need for everybody else yet. So, we're gonna save, we're gonna view our map, and we're gonna see exactly what the fuck we're up against. <gasps> Good boy! Skeleton! Hey! Ooh, yay! Or Ah! Oh no! Eh, right. This, we're not worried about. So, pressing ZR, we can see our enemy's area of attack and where they can get to. And it's Ash that we need to worry about first. So, we're gonna have Claude get as close as he can into that, which is gonna be fine just here. Uh, let me just look at Ferdinand again. Yeah, Ash and Claude can have a little tete-a-tete. -tete. We will put Byleth and Hilda as close as we can to Claude. Where can Violet get to? She can get... Right, okay, but Ferdinand can get... Right, so if we move Claude over here, Hilda can go up there, Violet can go down here, and then we can start working Lysithia and Marianne over that way. Got it, right. And that's the plan. Game time, bitches. Route the enemy. Violet or Claude fall in battle. So, this is the stage for the mock battle. The command's all yours, Teach. <laughs> Fodlin wins. I'm sure you already understand, Music. but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. That's us. Incidentally, we're gonna win. I'll be overseeing this mock battle. Thanks, Daddy. So listen well if you want to win. He has tips for us, but we don't really care because we're already a fucking expert. We're not an expert. That's why we're playing on normal mode. If I were a fucking expert, this would be a maddening run. Right. Anyway, so ready and willing. You're going there. Yeah, you have your bow equipped, that's good. Who, me? Yeah, you! Okay, Stay right. Focused. Yeah, that's totally awesome. Leave it to me. I love her, she's amazing. And Marianne, I want you over that way, and let's go. Fight! I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... <laughs> I suppose I have no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. <sighs> we are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, Your Highness. Leave it to me. We're not falling for that, though. We're too smart. Once you finish preparing, We're gonna put the Black Eagles move. in a fucking you, pincer. Mercedes, keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. If 
your name is bitch I'm level one, then you need to get the fuck up front and start attacking. Right. Marianne, no! Although, she's getting that class mastery, which is nice. So... Wait a second. We get that nice cover, so actually what I should do is I should put her up here just so that she gets these experience, like the support points, so... Yeah! That was nothing! How are you both missing your shit? Your actual dog shit? I am not training failures. For fuck's sake. This is why we get Ferdinand though, because he's amazing. Nice. I'm the son of House Iyer. How did I fail? I must need to train harder. You That's need to get better at introducing you. yourself, because you, while you are the son of House Iyer, you're also Ferdinand Von Iyer. Right. Attack, Iron Axe, kill this boy. Queen! Uh, so strong. Have to do better next time. You lost to me? I love her. The Queen, we stand Hilda. Hilda Beast! You are performing as expected, Professor. We will have to face you with our full might. You've already lost two people. No, you haven't. You've lost one, and they've lost one. I will correct myself on that right now. And Hilda, don't you fucking dare die on me. Heal. I love her. Hmm. Actually, yes. Trade the axe to Hilda. There we go. Iron sword. Ooh, go. Girl, get it. Nice. I don't really care about how much damage you think you can do to me, Hubert. Because at the end of the day, motherfucking Lysithia von Hordelia is going to be coming up. Bam! Icon. <sighs> The new professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. Maybe. This is what I do. And she's a queen. We love her. Thank you. Right. Claude, you get over that way. Hilda, you get over this way. We will use the forest to ambush our enemy. Everyone, I am counting on your support. Right, so Dorothea. I'm waiting in the forest. We Hold on. Well, to take a detour. Well, if that's where they're gonna go, then we'll just go around here, right? So, thicket. She's got that extra avoid. Thicket. She's got that extra avoid. Two points of defense. I think extra. No, fuck me. This bitch has a fucking hand axe, and this bitch has fucking thunder. Are you? <sighs> you know what? We still need to pick them off. Scary as they might seem. Marianne, how many heals do you have? You have four left. Violet? Claude. Hilda. Lysithia. Marianne. Oh, what's my accuracy? Oh, two chances of 59, though. Or... Look at that, a real-life princess. I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Oh, this'll be a bit of a shock, then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? I love them. Um... Fire it. Nice. 
He even got my minor quest to Regan prop. Right, let's just take a look at the damage. She's going to... Ooh. Ooh. Hold up. Her thunder. Ah, yeah. Okay. Right, let's plan this out. What we can do is we can move Hilda over here, move Marianne across, have her heal up Claude. <laughs> Sorry. And fingers crossed he won't drop dead. I mean, Dorothea's not going to attack him, but the way that this is spaced out, it just means that if Edelgard were to move, Dorothea could get in range to cast Thunder. So, with that, we're going to have Byleth move up. We're going to have Lysithia move. Oh, God. She'll get flattened. Right, hold on. Protection, 3. Strength, well, attack, 18. That's 15. And she has 13. But does she have any... She has... Okay, she has this. Items. Miasma. Vulnerary. Use. Okay, good. Right. She might just kill the Doom. If she's faster. Yay. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Slow. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You get me. Life doesn't always go as planned. We know. We know. <laughs> she thinks she's smart. Ouch. Dorothea thinks she's smart. I find it hilarious. Right, if she moved one across... Boom. Nice. Apologies, your highness. I can go no further. I'm sorry to do. You underestimated me. Well, for what it's worth, she's doing great. So... Let's do it! Queen Marianne! And who says that offensive clerics aren't a thing? Let's be real. Forced to retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Well, with that attitude, yeah. So... Claude, you're gonna wait. Hilda, you're gonna wait at the side of him so that he's got that little connecty line bonus bitch thing. Byleth, I want you heading up there. Okay, Lysithia, I need to pull you out. Uh, what do you have, Manuela? You have Vulnerary, Nosferatu, Heal and Ward, and Ally Resistance plus 7. You could have done that and you chose not to. You suck! Heal da! Heal da! Come on. My Queen, Crest of Goneril! Nice. My, my! The new professor seems very capable. We haven't had a quick overview of our... Queen! Queen! Right. Let's have a quick overview of our crests, okay? The Crest of Goneril, inherited from Goneril of the Ten Elites, allows combat arts to sometimes prevent enemy counterattacks. Regan recovers up to 30% of HP of the damage dealt when using combat arts. Mystery Crest. She has two crests. Crest of Gloucester. She shares this with Lawrence, uh, occasionally raises might during magic attacks, and minor crest of Charon. Uh, inherited from Charon of the Ten Elites, sometimes raises might when using combat arts. Mystery crest. Might be some kind of crest, it's unclear which one. Crest of Maurice. Crest of the Bees. Okay, right, so that's you taking care of. 
Uh, we will just start having Claude and Hilda move backwards towards us. So, pop a Voldemary. And we will. We'll put Violet right there. It's a heel tile, it's a heel tile. Right, okay, hold on. Oh. If we do Rat Strike. My idea is to try and wear her down to the point that someone else who's lower level can finish her off. So she recovers eight. That's fine. Ow. She's running out of spells now. Oh shit. Never mind. Completely forgot about that. But then again, if I'd have put her in front of Manuela anyways, I'm realizing this in hindsight. Hindsight, not hindsight. I'm realizing this now. If I'd have put her right in front of Manuela anyways, she still would have got the double attack off. So we got the Volnari. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. Oh, come at me. Right. That's you. Done. Oh god, Joy-Con Drift. Hi. Right. Oh shit, that's not good. Right. Freakishly strong Dimitri. Hold on. She can attack twice on Marianne. Well, oh, I mean, sure, at a distance. Wait, hold on. So it's 5 by 2, which is 10. Her current HP is 23. Dimitri, are you even planning on moving? Oh, shit. Ah, strange. There, we'll do that. Fall back. Beautiful work, Professor. But the true challenge I love starts him. now. He's great. Because obviously bows, she can't strike close range unless she's got close counter, but she ain't about to get that. Oh fuck. Right. Kill it! Oh, oh no! This is as far as I can go! I just Did you ever see Bo Lysithia? <laughs> no, me neither. I mean, you could make her a magic bow user. I just don't fancy that idea. Wait a sec. Okay, okay. Because don't forget he has an Iron Lance and an Iron Axe as well. His attack speed, his hit. Okay, right, so basically Claude's best with the bow, period. I'm just gonna have him come in with a lance. That way then the hit rate doesn't drop too much. Psst, your princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up, you'll feel better. Claude, please, this is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. And that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. Too slow. 
Well, it's not that she were too slow, it's that you just, she just dealt no damage. She. You're a tough opponent, but I refuse to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. all do our part and we'll have the absolute annihilator of house lords marianne come in once more queen we love her and she's level three now um, not the best level up to finish this off but my training was insufficient i am so we sorry. just have hanuman left the rest is up to you Right, Hilda's getting the Hanuman kill. I don't care. I don't care. Everybody form a flipping barrier around Hanuman. Be mindful. We're gonna make the Crest Nerd cry. Well, in theory, I could try and poke him with that. This is fine. Just do with getting that last bit of healing off. Boom. There you go. Lysithia. Just because I'm curious about damages. Uh, yes. Peel it off. Nice. She's doing great. Byleth can wait. You will heal eight. You will attack Lysithia with Sagittarius. Vexing. This isn't what I wanted. We were doing so well. What? Right. Line them up. Someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. Uh, I'm all sweaty. Hilda, Hilda. I'm still a delicate I'm flower, sure. you know. An intermediate seal. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. Yay! Hilda! Hilda! And there we go! First chapter finally be. I mean, it only took three episodes, Christ. Great work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad we won. I've been anticipating that magic moment when your tactics and my schemes entwined, and you did not disappoint. That composed expression you always sport like a permanent mask is a perfect complement to my ruthless schemes. That's a joke, of course. Mostly. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. 
I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too! We just did what you told us, and we won! You did nothing! I love it! As expected from a child of the former captain of the Knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have Girl, much we need to, to work on your defense, because you- and resistance, because you were sh You did so well right up until Hanuman. I never doubted that our professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you Bring her into the idea? conversation, my queen. Uh, me? Oh, um, yes, of course. Well, well done, Marianne. Professor. Well done, you, because you took down Dimitri and Edelgard. Claps for Marianne, everyone. Claps for Marianne. Claps for Marianne. She did great. She did great. She did great. She's good. She's good cinnamon bean. We love her. Destroyer of house leaders. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. He can cook. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. You fucking cat burglar. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I did. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. Chapter 7. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. Understood. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble. In other words, what she's basically saying is, now that you've had a mock battle, the real game will begin. And I will send you and your students off to fight for your lives against seasoned criminals. Thanks, bitch! My mission? Those affiliated with Garrig Mock Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. Your mom. I have high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bandits. This bitch. Say? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Is this a threat? Is this a warning? Because this feels like a personal attack, Miss Bitch. I love this music. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are I have no words for anyone you. except for my students or people that address me. So, um, what's your reason? Hmm, why do you choose to talk to me? Oh, that's right, it's because you're a fucking part of me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Right. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? 
Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Receive 2,000 gold from the Church of Seros as funding for this month's activities. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. More bandits. Not very original, Teach. Not interested? Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. We have an entire month. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? I think so. Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. It's Annette's birthday, no. And that is where we're gonna- nah, Come on, I just wanna wrap things up. The monastery holds events for various effects, such as those with- Good things happen across the month and you should take note of that. Right, this is where we are officially wrapping things up. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, then please press like and subscribe and all that good stuff that I said right at the very beginning. And I will see you next week. Same time, hopefully. Yay! Okay, goodbye, you guys.